Hello everyone, welcome to my NetSec channel, a channel focused on cybersecurity. In today's topic, I'm going to talk about a new Honeypot project in GitHub. Previously, I introduced the Honeypot 19.03 and version 16. This is my old video. Now I found this edge fish honeypot project at GitHub. And I was testing this edge fish honeypot and it was running very well. This is the dashboard, how it looks like. And there's a nice view of the dashboard as well. So in this video, I'm going to show you how easy we can deploy it through the Docker. I'm using Play with Docker, this website to do this demonstration. I put the like, command and modify the command in my blog post, the uh, collection for cybersecurity related Dockers. And you can just directly copy paste to there, as I did. Once you logged in playwithdocker.com, you need to add a new instance. After that, you can directly copy paste the command into command line. So the Docker name will be edgefish. You're gonna use a username admin, password will be p at the time, password one, two, three, four. And it will restart policy will be always. And we're gonna open a couple of ports, 21, 22, 23, 3306, 6379, 9211. The 9001 will be admin interface. So since 22 port has been used by um, Docker, play with Docker already, so we have to change it to a different one. We're gonna remove the one we created and we're going to change the command a little bit again. So if you have 22 port already open, by default, most of the VPS or other Linux in the cloud, the 22 port has been opened. So you may, you may need to change it to 22, 22, less, like, just like I did. In this way, you are not creating a confliction of the port 22. The management port is 9001. So what we need to do is here, click 9001, it will open the interface. And you can use the account we just uh, created to log in. Password 1234. And then system is up running for you to play. So it's gonna take a while to get uh, some heat from outside. I already created in my VPS VM in the cloud for a couple of days. Right now we are getting almost 10,000 SSH attack and uh, an 83 Redis attack. MySQL, FTP, memory cache, telnet, all this kind of uh, attack from the cloud. And you can see this um, diagram to show the timeline and also attack area and the top IP and the account who used by hackers to attack you or maybe scan you. You also can see more details. So there's almost 1000 pages record here. You can see which port protocol they're using to attack to you and where it's coming from 
and where's the geographic information. You can see more details about uh, the account they're using to attack you, trying to log in. I found it uh, very helpful, interesting, and uh, that's why I like to share with you guys. If you have other VMs you're not using, maybe you can load this Docker and play with it. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.